Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Uranium. I always forget to do this. In Uranium, I need to turn the volume down just a tad bit more than in uh, Tales of the Abyss. But anyways, there you go, much better. Um, let's see here. What was I doing last time? Oh, that's right, we're going through the gym trials, and we're doing good so far. I did look up uh, the Pokemon Uranium Pokedex to see if there were any Pokemon type-wise and design-wise that stuck out to me that I wanted to get. Uh, some of them aren't available. In Pokemon one point in Pokemon Uranium 1.0, which makes no sense to me, uh, and also a lot of them that look cool have garbage stats or just didn't have types that I really needed on the team. But I did find one Pokemon that I want to add to the team, uh, and we'll go and get that one Pokemon after we're done at the gym. We actually have to go back to East Hand Door to get it. Uh oh. A good trainer has faith in themselves and in their Pokemon even in times of great fear. Trust in your abilities and move forwards. The path will reveal itself to you. Oh, it's this thing. All right, this is pretty easy, right? One more left, and then here. Yep, easy. Next one. This is uh, pretty quick. I'm trying to follow the thing rather than myself. Ah, crud. I needed to step left one more time, I think. This does go really fast. Holy cow. My eyes cannot keep up. Can I hit this multiple times? No, I have to wait until it ends. Well, I'm definitely not going that time. Alright, here we go. Basically, just never stop walking. Crud, I don't know when to turn right. One more up. I go down one, then right. Th no. Just up. Yeah, okay. Whew, I got it. That was a little difficult. Excellent work. You have shown that you have faith in your own abilities, but do you have faith in your Pokemon? I'm going to destroy you, you nerd. Bring it on, Havis. Oh no, a Glaceon, whatever shall I do? Other than send out my Glavanug. What what can a Glaceon like actually do to hurt me? It can try and use last resort, turn one, I guess, but uh, that's not gonna do much. Easiest two hit KO of Glavanug's life. Obviously Glavanug is the superior ice type Pokemon that starts with G. In your face, Glaceon. Easy. Dermafrost. Oh, that's the, uh... That's the, um... The elephant. I actually figured out the elephant's type when I was looking through the Pokemon Uranium decks. It is Ice Rock. And this is actually one of the fossil Pokemon in the game. There are three fossil Pokemon in this game, and this is one of them. Four times effective. It lived that? I'm amazed. In all honesty. Because that's four times effective stab from Barry Eat. Or Barry Eat. I always want to say Barry Eat. It's Barry Eat. Pretty sure. Or it might even be Barry Eat. Easy. Terabit. I don't know what that is. Oh, wait. Bit. Rabbit. It's probably that, uh, ice rabbit on the skis. I don't remember what this thing's type is. I don't know if it's pure... Oh, no, it's not. It's not what I thought it was. I do remember seeing this when I was looking through the Uranium decks, though. This is a pure ground type, so let's surf it. I think it's a pure ground type, or maybe that was something else. No, it's ground. Yep. Easy. It might be ground fighting, actually. I'm not sure. Well done. Well done, indeed. By putting faith in your Pokemon's intuition, you have allowed them to prove themselves to you. You have passed the trial of faith. Follow me. Next is the gym leader, right? Oh man, that one threw me through. It threw me for a loop. My Pokemon were surprised too, but I think they were excited to battle on their own without orders. They sure seemed more satisfied than usual when we won. One final trial awaits you. This is the trial of truth. Simply move forward and do not give up. The completion of your trials is at hand. Now go. I wonder if we actually are going to fight the gym leader, as in like a double battle with me plus. Theo, or if they're going to make me fight Theo before the gym leader. Honestly, I would much rather, even though I hate Theo, I'd much rather enjoy the idea of fighting, uh, me and him fighting a gym leader together. We're in the snow. Oh, hey, there's Theo. Grr, this is it, Chaos. We've just got to go straight forward and we'll complete the trial. Come on, let's go. There's going to be more to it than just going forward, you nerd. I can't run in the snow. Bum, 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 bum. Yo, man. 
You have pushed forward, undertaken many arduous tasks, and finally arrived at the truth. This will be your final trial. You are not allowed to use any items when we battle. Simply put your trust in your Pokemon's abilities and move forward without any hesitation. Do they actually program in a way that I would not be able to use? What the heck is that? Is that a fire bug? Have they actually programmed in some way to prevent me from using items? I wonder. But anyways, Surf, this thing looks fire. Oh, nope, it's a ghost of some kind. I was wrong. That did way too much damage, and that Spadef's drop is just unfair. Give me a crit. It is fire. It must be a fire ghost, I guess. I don't remember seeing that thing when I was going through the uh, uranium decks. Done, Seraph. Oh, my freaking goodness. I can't stay in on this thing, because I'm at a... Uh... I'm at negative one Spadef, and it uses special... Let me sack Heralict. And I can use this opportunity to see if the whole, uh... The, uh... No item shenanigans is true or not. Are they gonna actually stop me from using items? No, apparently not. Alright, cool. You know what? I am so glad that you know Dragon Pulse, because that means you won't spam, uh, Air Slash at me. All right, Glavinog, I need you to Ice Beam the ever-loving crap out of this thing. Do not get flinched. Oh my goodness. Don't you dare start this. Thank you. That's what you get for trying to run flinching strats, you stupid Dun Seraph. Easiest kill of my life. Thank you for the tons of experience. Pajay? Oh, that's Firebird. Firebird's final form. Dude, Firebird looks so awesome. How do you miss Air Slash? Come on, man. 95 accurate. Dude, I, like, 9 times out of 10 would have gotten Pajay as one of my Pokemon if I didn't already have a Fire-type. Like, look at how awesome that is. That's better than Ho-Oh. Well done. You've completed all five trials. You are now ready to face Gym Leader Vayern. Or Vayern? I don't know how to pronounce it. Come. On my way. What's happening, Theo? What is that one random block there? Like, an exit? I can't believe it. We did it, Chaos. We completed all five trials. Mega Evolution is just one step away. That portal will allow you to travel to the start of the gym. If your trials have exhausted you, you're welcome to take it and recuperate before challenging the leader. It is advised that you bring a Pokemon this capable of Mega Evolution to battle. That is all. Whatever you choose, let me know when you want to move on. I mean, I got a Pokemon. I've got two Pokemon capable of Mega Evolution. I just don't have Achilles' uh... I don't have his uh, stone. Anyways, uh, I am going to go heal up, so that way I have, I'll have Turlard and Herolect for sacking, if needed. By the way, I did find the theme of Amatry City on YouTube, and, like, listened to it on loop for quite a while the other day. I love that theme. Do, 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 do. Alright, guys, let's do this. Time to get our seventh badge. Shouldn't be much longer and we'll be done with this. Hopefully I'm done with this, uh... I'm definitely gonna be done with this before, uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon comes out. I was gonna say maybe I can get it done before the demo for Sun and Moon comes out, but I just realized the demo for Sun and Moon is in, like, five days. So, that's definitely not happening. But whatever. I guess I'm gonna lead with Glavinug. Uh, good luck to both of you. Are you ready? Let's take on this Dragon Master together. That's, uh, some kind of a glitch there. It doesn't have the apostrophe. It's got that weird null spot instead. Theo, join me. Theo, why do I keep saying Theo? I don't know why. It's Theo. Taking the left door, because the game never allows me to take the right. Whoa, you look like some kind of a Viking. Challengers, my acolytes tell me you have completed the five trials. You have demonstrated great willpower to make it this far. Strength, wisdom, adaptability, faith, and a willingness to seek the truth. These are all characteristics of a true-hearted trainer. Only those that are pure of heart and filled with determination can be worthy of the power of Mega Evolution. That's right, and now me and Chaos are going to battle you. I am Varen the Dragon, Arbiter of Mega Evolution in Tandor. You may have passed the trials, but one final test awaits you. Prove to me that you are worthy. Let's go. Oh, dude, he's got the, like, symbol for Mega Evolution in his staff. And it is a double battle just like I wanted. He's got a Glavinug. All right, why did you lead with your bird? Like, come on, dude. We're in a snowy region. I need to Ice Beam this Dunstraff immediately before it becomes, like, a huge problem easiest dodge of their life. Why have you let me down, Splendifal? His Glavinug is pretty quick. It outsped the Dunseraph. Mine normally doesn't. Yeah, see, mine doesn't. How dare you Skyfall me? 
This, like, raises me into the air, doesn't it? Oh, no, it just hits me. Of course it inflicts paralysis. Please don't get fully paralyzed. Thank you. It's all okay now. Four times effective stab ice beam. Get out of here, Dun Seraph. Man, if I had gotten, like, fully paired there, I would have been so upset. Oh, great. That thing is an ice dragon. I remember seeing it before. Ah, good, but we got Haraloon here. Yeah, break the break the mold, Haraloon. I believe in you. Uh, I'm gonna Dazzling Gleam this uh, Fafnanter. Oh, great. Surf. And this thing is Ground-type next to me. And then Fafnir literally eats it. He drank the Surf water is what he just did. Easy is true of Haraloon's life, but I don't think... Can Haraloon live this, actually, since it's quad-resisted? Can you live Rock Slide? Yeah, you can. Of course you get flinched, though. All right, what do I... I should send out Barriet. Yeah. All right, Barriet. The Fafnitter is probably... Hmm. I don't know. I feel like if I leave the Glavanug, it's just going to become more and more of a problem. So I'm going to cross-chop the Glavanug, actually. Ah, oh, and I outspeed everything. Perfect. Glavanug is definitely dead because it has a low defense stat. Yeah. That's another reason I chose not to attack Fafnitter with that. I didn't know if it had a big enough defense stat to live that or not. And now Haraloon gets a lot of HP back from it. Ah, uh, easy. Cross Shot probably would have killed if Haraloon did that much with Drain Punch. Oh dear. Who'd you hit? Me? Nope, you hit him. Good. I'd rather you hit him. He's dead. Yeah, definitely. That is fine by me. I can easily kill this Fafnitter. Oh, yo, you've got Nucleon. Okay, so we got a Nuclear on the team. Alpico. All right, I'm going to finish off this Fafnitter. I don't know what types Alpico is. Ice and maybe Fairy? I don't know. Oh, great. This stupid thing. It is Ice Fairy. I thought so. Which means I'm dead. Because four times effective. And that's actually really bad. I should have kept my fighting type for longer. But Hyper Voice is nice. Oh, what the heck? It's super... Oh, dude, do you have some move that turns normal type moves to nuclear type moves? Did you just use a nuclear Hyper Voice? I'm actually really upset because now I don't get any of the experience from that. But you know what? As long as we win, who cares? I can do leveling up stuff later. Achilles, get out here, man. Let's do this. Fafnitter's back. Uh, we've killed three of his mons. He's got Ampharos. That's probably a mega Ampharos. So I'm going to use this turn to dig on the Ampharos. Behold, the power of Mega Evolution! Oh, here it is. Mega Ampharos. Dude, Mega Evolution looks cool in this game. Alright, I'm out. I'll see you guys later. Yeah, go ahead and break your mold. Peace. Go ahead and hypervoice these fools. If you survive, that is. Oh, that's right. Nuclear is also weak to everything, so there's no way Nucleon was living anything. Easiest dodge of my life. What do you say? Send out Metal Inks. So it could be Archilles and Metal Links. Oh, that's not Metal Links. That's Escartes. Or Escartress. My bad. That thing is huge. Like, legitimately, look at how big this thing is. Oh, dude. I'm half ground. I can totally take this. That did a lot more than I expected, actually. Yeah, Magnitude. Wait, does Magnitude hit me? It better not. It does! How dare you, Theo? You scum. I'm sitting out my grass type and killing you. He's taking away all my experience. What a nerd. He didn't even... He did, like, literally nothing to the Fafnitur. Whatever, as long as I win. Does he have another Pokemon, or is this his last one now? I hope it's his last one, because all I've got left is Kotalith. I'm complete. It is his last one. I am completely blocked... By the Escartress. Dragon Claw, go! I figured it wouldn't kill because of my horrible attack stat. But it's fine, because Muddy Water should kill even though it's a dragon. Never mind. Escartress is worthless. That's gonna kill me. Uh, Theo, why are you such garbage, man? Like, legitimately, why are you so bad? You're still the worst person. I wish I had the new Pokemon I wanted I could have sent out right now, but whatever. I guess I'm just going to send out Hair like so that I have a Pokemon to send out. Yeah, go ahead and Thunder Wave, whatever. Hydro Pump seems highly unnecessary at this point, but sure. Also, you yeah, have Muddy Water and Hydro Pump. What an idiot. That experience is completely wasted on Hair like. The two of you have proved yourselves worthy of the power of Mega Evolution. I like this guy's design. We got the Apex badge. That's badge number seven for us. Whoop! I should also give you two this TM. Corrosive Breath. Okay. 
Sorry, I was taking a drink. That TM contains Corrosive Breath. It's a powerful dragon type attack that strips away your opponent's defenses. Ooh, is it special? Because I'll give it to Coatlith if it's special. Now then, can we get Mega Evolutions now? Yes, it is time. Extend your wrists, both of you. We got the Mega Bracelets. I should explain a little bit about how Mega Evolution works. That keystone in your bracelet is a catalyst. When a Pokemon capable of Mega Evolution is holding the corresponding Mega Stone, the two stones will react in the heat of battle. Your bond with your Pokemon allows them to achieve their full potential. Now, do you each have a Pokemon that are capable of Mega Evolution? Yes, I'm going to Mega Evolve my trusty Metalynx. There you go, man. Give me Arcelioxite, please. Very good. How about you, Chaos? Oh, I get to select and you just give me any of them? Well, I want Arcelioxite. I already have Barietite. An excellent choice. Sweet. Oh, and then I automatically... What happened to the item it already had equipped? Okay. Pokemon move to the front of the party. Let's do this. Chaos, I'm going to attack you with all my might using the power of Mega Evolution. You'd better be prepared. Whoa, all of my Pokemon are dead. I better be healed here. What happened to your hair? It looks even stupider than before. You're an idiot. <laughs> oh, we're just fighting with our Megas now? Ah, oh, sweet. Dude, seven levels down, but I got type advantage. Let's go, fool. It's time for the Mega Evolution. Let's do this. One flamethrower to rule them all. I have seen the stats for my Mega, and this Mega is like a Mega Special Attacker. Like, his special attack stat goes up like 50 points. I don't know about Metal Inks. He looks awesome, though. Time to burn, fool. Just Oko to Mon seven levels ahead of me with a crit. I love it. Give me all that EXP. That actually was not as much EXP as I expected from a Mon seven levels ahead of me. Oh, he's got more. You want to keep going, fool? Let, bring it. Colith is going to destroy you. Also, I am severely underleveled. I'm going to have to fix that in between this session and the next one. Energy ball, go! I'll just keep, you know, using quad effective moves to win. Like a true Pokemon master. I know you have that stupid Nucleon. I don't know what's going to be best to hit that with. Splendafowl, uh, Glavanug... Probably I'll just look at whatever Pokemon, which is probably Mega Archilles, that has the highest attack stat to hit Nucleon with, because I know I'm going to get a super effective hit no matter what. Not Flash Cannon. Dude, Flash Cannon looks sick in this game. Get Ice Beamed. Freeze it. Never mind. <laughs> I'll just kill it instead. I'm Oko I've Oko'd all of his mons so far. Heirloon. Uh, this one's actually a problem. I guess Coatleth is my best option. I can't leave in Glavanug because it's a fighting type, and it's probably faster than Glavanug, because most things are. So I'm just going to have to fall back on energy balling it. This thing is definitely going to live one. So this is where my Oko's stop. Yeah, I knew it. Chew that. Chew it. Easy chew. And now Giga Drain should definitely still kill, so I can get most of my HP back here. Or not most of it, but a small amount of it. Giga Drain that fool. Thank you for the HP, Heirloon. Heirloon is actually a pretty cool design. I didn't like it when I first saw it, but it's kind of grown on me, just from seeing Theo use it so much. All right, what else you got, fool? The Nucleon coming out? No, Miasmatic. Okay, this thing is uh, very poison, so Achilles using Dig is my best option. I do really like Achilles' Mega Evolution. Have the whole uh, feathered dinosaur thing going on. I wish I had Earth Power. I need, like, I need special attacks on Achilles now. That's what I really need. Get digged. Yeah, see? I do think my physical attack goes up a little bit, just not much. Also, I don't know if Theo is going to use items. I kind of want to just, like, extreme speed kill, but I'm afraid he's going to heal himself, so I'm going to flamethrower to be safe. Okay, he didn't heal himself, but better safe than sorry, you know? What else you got, Theo? Still got the Nucleon hanging out in the back. Yep. You know what? I'm not even going to check stats. I'm just going to flamethrower it. Let's go, Nucleon. Thank goodness I outspeed you. Oh, I lived just barely. Oh, this is going to kill me. It's four times super effective. Stupid nuclear type. That's fine, Archilles. You did very well. Uh, I guess I'm going to send out Coatlith because it probably outspeeds and it's the one that needs the most EXP right now. What's up, fool? take this energy ball. I should have HP electric to you, to be honest, but whatever. Nice and level 48. Nasty plot. Ooh. Yep. 
you know what, HP Electric, it's been fun. I like Nasty Plot, Giga Drain, and then Energy Ball for a little more damage, and then when I get a Dragon-type move. Why are you panting? You just stood there. Well, it looks like I lost again. Haha, -ha, some things never change, even with the power of Mega Evolution. Of course, you had a Mega on your side, too, so I'm not surprised. Well fought, both of you. I haven't seen a battle that climatic in many years. It's clearly the- it's- it's clear the two of you have each made an incredible journey. Now, the power of Mega Evolution is yours to keep. Use it wisely, remembering that you learned in your trials. Remembering what you learned in your trials, even. I will. Good. I wish you two the best of luck on your journeys. So now I gotta go to that ninja place, right, for the last battle? Chaos, I think we should tell the prof about how we both got Mega Evolution. He'll be thrilled. I'll call him up on my Pokepod right now. Hello? Theo? Prof. Uh, prof. I'm here with Chaos. Oh, would you look at that? Chaos is there too. So, what is it? You're not gonna believe this. Chaos and I just beat Gym Leader Varin, and he gave us these Mega Rings I can't read. Now we can use the power of Mega Evolution! Three exclamation points. Mega Evolution? That's fantastic news. It sounds like I need to give you an upgrade for your Pokedexes. Looks like you're still in Snowbank, so I'll fly over there in a jiffy. Alright, we'll see you soon, Professor. Well then, Chaos, we'll talk again soon. Later. Yeah, see you later, you nerd.